Hey, what's up everyone, Carlos here, and I wanna show you how you can easily non-stop Yoshi's circuit. Um, I have already done a video, but I thought it's time for an update because my uh, older how to non-stop is already, yeah, old. <laughs> and uh, I got a perfect line for you today. Um, we are going through the track three times. Um, I will now uh, let the video run one time and command it. Then we go slowly through it. I will show you a couple important stuff where you should check where we get a boost, where we get a, a, a yellow boost and stuff like that. Um, other tips and tips. And at the end of the video, you can enjoy the race once again uh, without any breaks uh, in the original version. So I would say, let's go. Um, as you see, I have uh, Red Yoshi, so a tier three driver, um, level two or three, not sure. Uh, I use my free-to-play account stuff. I have a tier 3 card and the glider is a tier 3 high-end level 2. So not very high, but also not very low. Um, the strat I show you today, it is really, I would say 99%, yeah, 99% the best line on the track. Uh, it might be also possible with a tier 2 uh, glider, but yeah, uh, that is my line. I always have the same lines in a free-to-play GoPros or pay to win account, so it does not really matter which glider you use. If you're not uh, uh, able to keep the combo, then you can just not change it because the glider is uh, too weak. But this is the best line. So let's go. Um, I had a good starting position. I tried to be like in the first row, fourth place is okay. And you need to do two boosts already in the first um, turn, then one left boost, another left one, and then you can go through the coins. That's very important. Now keep the drift until you get a yellow boost. So you have a little bit more time that you can uh, boost. Try to get all the coins on the track. You need to boost between the coins one time. You can do those extra boosts. I do three boosts in the tunnel. You can also uh, keep the boost uh, on the on the coins. So you have a yellow one, which makes it a, bit, a little bit easier. That's the hardest part. Uh, you need to drift here through. Uh, you need uh, to collect the coins. Here it is important or helpful to get a, another yellow boost which keeps you the combo easily to right boost and then you can go through the coins also here you could do an extra boost i have not done it now that's the easier version uh, so i only did one boost get the coins i did one boost between and that was already lap one and we do exactly the same now again so two boosts in the first turn one boost to a left another to the left don't use a shortcut the shortcut costs you points um even if you have a mushroom it is not really easier uh, here again, go through the coins. I got all the coins this time in the first lap. I just got uh, two, I guess. And also here in the tunnel. You can do three, up to four boosts, but three is optimum. One to the left, now two to the right again. And here's the important part. We go slowly through there. Left, right, and now you need to snake. Like Get the coin. You have time between the coins with that glider. With a tier two glider, you might need to boost between the coins, which makes it really hard. And honestly, Yoshi Circuit is one of the top five hardest tracks to keep the combo. If you are able to keep the combo on Yoshi Circuit, then you can keep the combo on pretty much every track. So that was the whole track. Uh, 110 actions without frenzy. And since there was no the fast version, let's uh, take a little bit. So we are starting. Start regular, uh, do a normal start, rocket start always. So rocket start means uh, press it to release at go and go instantly into the right drift. Drift as hard as you can. Um, I don't have a finger cam on, but if you want to know how I drive with my fingers, you can check my how to drift manual video. Uh, I hope I will not forget it and I will link it up there. Uh, there you can see how I use my fingers. So now we're going to do two right drifts or two right boosts. So when I say drift, I mean boost most of the time. So two right boosts, one, two, and now two to the left and see when I when I see the the blue um, flames the blue blue spots whatever that is blue sparks I instantly try to boost so you need to know when the time is there that the boost will be there so you often I boost I don't even see it I, I think the boost will be there because I know the spots where I need to boost uh, that makes the practice hours after hours after hours um, doing the track so now two to the left. And now you need to go from the left directly into the right drift. And now you need to aim through the coins. Um, so what I do here, I will now do a boost. No, wait, sorry. Don't. So I could do a boost here, 
but the easier version what i do now i keep the drift i keep the drift so until it is yellow because you have time to get through the coins so you can build up um, a yellow boost and that helps you to keep the combo longer so now we go into the left one you need to boost before the coins once here i missed one and also here between those coins you need to boost here if you don't boost between the last coin and the first coin here uh, you will definitely lose the combo so what you can do now you have uh two options you can do it like i did i will do a boost now i do a boost in the coins and after the coins that is the optimum uh, you can also just stay in the drift now and you get at least a yellow maybe even a purple boost so i do a boost here in the coins or after the coins and right at the boxes and now we go into the left boost and now it comes a combination of one left two right one left you need to stay at the at the right side of the track here if you're too wide on the left side you might touch uh, the fence on the left side and you will lose the combo uh, you should you should always stay in the track and never touch uh, with the butt of the cart uh, any fences or so uh, so two times to the right one two and now we are going into a left boost we do one more boost and then we need to go through the coins if you have a mushroom here uh, you can uh, you can make it a little bit easier you can just go with a mushroom through the perennials uh, i think you can even push through them um, you need to get one of the coins in between but that is not that hard that is even easier if you just if you tr uh, struggle there because that is the hardest part of the track so one left le uh, one left boost and one right boost and now snaking so go for the coin don't go you you could also drift straight like uh, over the bumpers but that's harder so i prefer to go right left uh no left right left uh from coin to toy coin you have time you have enough time also here get that coins get that point always drift you could drift before the jump and then you have another boost um right at the uh, item boxes but that is even harder uh, i prefer to go for a yellow boost here you have the time and you can boost runabout at the item boxes a little bit later yeah here so you have time that you can go a little bit around the corner already if you go for a uh, blue boost you need to uh, boost before the turn already and in the turn again which makes it even harder so i try to do as many boosts as possible but there are some points where it makes sense uh, to go a little bit longer in the drift get a higher boost uh, and that makes the combo easier at the end so here I boost again. Now, also here, two options. You could go straight, like drifting, but straight. Also here, check my how to drift video. Um, there's an easy, easy option here and a harder option. The easy one, that is what I show you here. We are drifting through the coins and we go instantly left, boost, and then uh, to the coins. But you can also go straight. So drift, straight, boost. When the boost is ready here, so you could boost now and we stay at the outside of the turn on the right side then you could boost once again but then it is a lot harder to get the coins so i would prefer uh, that i mean it's one or two boosts extra we could do in a race maybe three that is a couple points but for average users you should do that here so we're boosting here and this is it is now way easier to aim for the coins so boost and, and drift now to the right but you keep steering straight here we go we go through the coins uh, i boost here in the coins once because there's enough space and we can do the same once again that was the first lap 53 actions without transy uh we will see at the end it was 110 so it is around about 50 plus actions each lap uh now again two to the left uh two to the right one to the left one another one to the left and now we go through the coins once again, the red shell here, which hits the banana, that, that does not really help, it, it isn't necessary. Um, I go for the yellow boost here, I was lucky that I had two items behind me. Now I got three coins, and you see a boost between the last coin and the first coin in the next row. And then I do again a boost in the coins, after the coins, and run about at the item box a little bit later. Now, left, right, right. That is all muscle memory. You, the more often you do that, and again the left one the, the more you do that uh the easier it will be right and now again snaking get the coin right left and now drift through the coins drift through the coins 
until you have the yellow boost ready. And boost now and go to the right. Boost once, boost twice. Now again, through the coins, you do a left boost, the last one. And you could boost until the uh, finish line now, boost one more here. You, I could have boosted a little bit earlier, there was our yellow boost. I could have boosted earlier and got maybe another left boost. But yeah, that is how you non-stop Yoshi's Surgot. Once again, that is one of the hardest tracks. I would say top five. The hardest track at the moment still for me is DK Summit. Uh, but that's maybe also because I don't like the track. That is definitely one of the oldest tracks in the game. Uh, and I always say if you are able to non-stop this track, then you are able to non-stop every track in the game. Besides DK Summit maybe. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope that helped. I will show you now the whole race once again with in-game music. Um, try to listen. You will hear when the boost is ready and how short time is between boost is ready and the actually boost. I don't keep the boost very long. There are only two parts where we go for a yellow boost. At the start or at the start phase through the tunnel. And um, second one is uh, after the snaking part, the harder part. So yeah, let me know in the comments if that helped you. Um, let me know which other track you want to have. I know we have one new track, the Royal Raceway RT this week, but I think RT tracks are not that hard to keep the combo. But if I find the time, I would try to make a uh, video. But I think Yoshi's Circuit is way more important because it is, yeah, definitely harder than any other tracks in the current rank up. Have fun and yeah, have fun with the uh, full race now. Carlos is out here for now. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see more of those videos. And see you hopefully in one of the next live streams. Bye bye. Thank you.